Hey everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to a live slash not live video, which is basically me talking and hopefully not getting bogged down with editing, just trying to get a video out to you. Let me know how it goes. Before I start, I also wanted to apologize if there is any bangs or noises in the background. My neighbor is completely gutting the house next door and there's drilling and banging and all kinds of things. I seem to have had a moment where there isn't anything, so I'll try and get this done as quickly as, as I can. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about one particular question that I'm asked all the time and I wanted to answer it today. So that is what type of books are your best selling book? So to answer that question, I'm actually going to show you my top five books in 2023 in December. So December was my highest month. I made over 19 thousand dollars I'll post to that income report in the corner above. So these are the top 10 books that I sold in December and that comes to nearly fifteen thousand dollars. Considering I actually made nearly twenty thousand dollars you can see that this is a huge bulk of the royalties literally come from the top 10 books and these were the top five so with the top making three thousand five hundred ninety nine and the fifth making nine hundred and eighty one dollars so I'm just going to go through each one and share what type of book that actually was so the number one book in December that sold was actually a type of niche journal and it had prompts in it and that's basically it um it's been around for a couple of years and it's overtaken one of the top sellers that I had for several years and it's in a similar niche to that one. This journal is on a larger size so it did drop in royalty somewhat because of the printing cost increases. I didn't really put the book up in price much because competitors seem to have similarly priced books and they didn't raise theirs so I decided to keep it basically as it is. So the second book is a hybrid type book which had colouring, journaling, sketching in it and it was a book that I only just published at the end of last year. So I published it in Q4 last year and it actually became the second bestseller that I had in December overall. So that was a really big surprise and I think it was partly down to it being a gift related type book and also that I ran quite aggressive ads on it in the beginning and they were product targeting ads so that's where I targeted other books that would complement this book. There wasn't, weren't any in the same niche as such because I couldn't find any books like this to be honest that really existed. There are things like it. obviously there are books with colouring and journaling but just the way this particular book was I hadn't seen anything really like it in that niche I suppose you could say. I tried to target other books that would complement it rather than that that were the same and that seemed to help I think boost it up and started to sell but it only really sold in the U UK it didn't sell much in the US and the ads didn't work there either and they didn't work anywhere else particularly so it, the, these ads only worked in the UK and it wasn't targeting the UK at all I don't know why it took off there and didn't anywhere else that's just what happens the third book was actually just a notebook it was a notebook that targeted a certain profession and had a funny kind of quote on the cover and this book became popular because Amazon actually started bundling it together in a frequently bought together bundle that was this book and then it had some other gifts that you might give for this particular profession I was talking about I guess it was given as a gift so in December it really sold really well and that was in the USA uh, yeah it was a surprise that the third bestseller was a notebook most of my books aren't just notebooks but I do have some in the top 20 that do sell regularly and did sell well in December. The fourth bestseller was another niche journal with prompts which is undated, it's not like a dated planner and that was in a similar niche as to the, the one that sold the most in December. It was very similar to that and and for a long time it was the number one bestseller that I ever had. Sometimes it still is the number one bestseller depending on what month it is and just how well it's ranking in the different marketplaces really. This does sell in the US and the UK but I think it sells a little bit better in the UK overall. And the fifth book is another journal as well, but this one has a swear word on the cover, and therefore I've never had ads running to it at all. 
and the, the this is a main seller in the USA so I don't think it really sells much in the UK or other marketplaces for that matter either it's just one that seemed to take off in the US and by the way it also took off way way after I ever published it this seemed to start selling better last year and I published it several years ago you just never know what will happen this has happened several times to my books before where I've kind of given up on them especially if I can't run ads to them anyway and therefore I might have just thought well they're not going to sell now and then all of a sudden they start selling. I think often this is because they are bundled together either in a frequently bought together bundle or in a bundle with other books that do sell well. That seems to be how they take off and that's something that I do try and do with my ads is I do try and target books that they might be able to bundle be bundled together with so books that might complement it unfortunately you can't do that with one that has a profanity or swear words on the cover but they still seem to sell quite well I do have a bunch of books that have swear words on I think I have another one in the top 10 as well that that also sold pretty well but let me know what books sell best for you, what type of books. I'm often asked if I do colouring books, and I do have some colouring books. In fact, I noticed that an Easter colouring book had started selling in January, so that was interesting. But generally, I don't have colouring books. I do add colouring pages to other types of books, though, so ones that aren't strictly just for colouring but might have other aspects to them as well that's just something that I prefer to do and it also means that you can use less colouring pages because you have other things inside the book as well okay so thank you very much for watching I'm going to leave that there for today please let me know of any other questions you have in the comments below I'm going to be doing some videos answering direct questions that people have asked me and this was just one of those questions that does just pop up again and again so that's all for now have a great rest of your day and I will speak to you again very soon.